are the first unit in the whole of the UK to buy one specifically for lung surgery. Uh, there are other units in the country that may have to share with neurology or gynecology or colorectal surgery. But the uniqueness of this is for um, chest surgery and thoracic surgery. It is really, although it looks very complicated, an extension of what we already do on our keyhole, our minimal invasive platform. And uh, this is we're taking one, one thing, one, one stage further forward. Over the past five years, we've gone from big open operations for lung cancer to 80% of our lung cancer operations are now done by key, conventional keyhole surgery. And now there's a natural extension of that, which we hope and anticipate will result in improved patient outcomes. Well, I was expecting quite a lot of pain because obviously it's, it's a major operation that I've had, but my experience was entirely different to, to my expectations. When I came out of, when I came round after the surgery, I'd been fitted with a self-administering morphine pump, which I found only I had to use once. Yeah, I would say so, yes, when I read different things on blogs about the pain and the length of time people suffer pain, I definitely feel I've had, I've had a better experience than those people who haven't had the robotic procedure. Um, they're definitely recommending them that you don't use this surgery to, to go ahead with it. It's obviously daunting to, to have to have something like this, but anything that makes it easier is definitely very good.